this doesn't look right, then I get it. It's Tuesday, May 14, 2019. I'm Gurveer Dinza. CBS 46 News at noon starts now. A protest after a mother is arrested. Once you seen that she wasn't complying with you, that's when you should have got on your radio, radio right then and called back up. We're digging deeper. We'll have the latest from Newton County. A man charged in the death of a University of Georgia professor. The latest straight ahead. A pair of teenagers admitting they were plotting to kill their classmates. The latest on the sentencing. A perfect sunny dry day today, but I am tracking a few showers in the forecast. I'll let you know when they'll arrive and talk about some much warmer temperatures on the way. This is CBS 46 News at noon, getting results. Good afternoon, I'm Gervier Dinza. Karen Greer is on assignment. New at noon today, members of a human rights organization are protesting. It comes after what they're calling a questionable arrest. Police say that arrest was made by the book. Here it is. It is caught on camera. CBS 46's Daniel Wilkerson has more from the Covington Police Department and a look at the video that some may find disturbing. At the press conference that you see behind me, they admitted that this young mother could have done things differently. They say also police could have done things differently. Right now, they just want changes. It's the arrest gone viral caught on camera. I see the police just manhandling this lady and her pants down. The police just just grabbed her and just slammed her like, like a wrestling match or something. She was not dead right, I can tell you that. And now the New Order Human Rights Organization is speaking out against the arrest. They have with them the woman who saw it all. 
for females to be laying out on the ground in a public and everyone sees her in nude, I mean, that's something that, that you know, this is just not right. Police say the officer acted appropriately. Some in the community of Covington say he should have handled it differently. It could have been handled a lot differently, you know, especially from what we've seen. This is what we know from the police report. Officers say 21 year old Brianna Bell called police to open up her locked car. You got a couple warrants. Uh -uh, I can't do Probation that. violation. Uh -uh, I can't do that. At some point, police learned she had two warrants for her arrest for a violation of probations. The officer went to arrest Bell, who had her seven month old in her arms. He says he first told her to give the child to her aunt. Bill refused. At some point, the mother dropped the child. Later, her pants came down, exposing her from the waist down as the officer tried to take her into custody. She sits down, the vehicle actually drops the baby. Uh, the, uh, fortunately, the baby landed uh, uh, on, her, on her bottom and uh, was not injured. I did some digging and Bill's charges, which she had outstanding warrants for before this incident had to do with shoplifting as well as traffic violations. Of course, this is a story we will follow. We will have the very latest on your CBS 46 mobile app. In Newton County, Daniel Wilkerson, CBS 46 News.